Well, we are all about saving money on this show, especially me. So I'm bringing in <laughs> Mr. Fix-It. He's Lou Manfredini. You probably recognize him. So thanks so much for coming on, my Mr. Pleasure, Fix-It. My pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. So I asked him to bring on three tips that were simple, something that people can do and they really don't have to call in outside help and pay for that. Right. All right, the easiest one is light bulbs. And the reason I say that is the advent of the LED light bulb now and the uh, fact that it's become so much less expensive to buy really makes a lot of sense. I used to give the advice all the time about uh, you take the six most used light bulbs in your home and replace them with LED, you can save $60 a year. Wow, that's a lot of money. It is, however, now because LED bulbs Back then when I used to say that, the bulbs were 10 or $15 a piece, so it was an investment. Now the um, uh, prices come down so much that you can literally buy LED bulbs for 99 cents. Now, Great this tip. is the thing to remember is that um, not all the LED bulbs are equal, meaning that, uh, that those 99 cent bulbs where you see a lot of the um, um, sort of the prognosticators say, oh, they're going to last for 30 years. They're not. They don't. I, they and don't. I've had this happen. Correct. They don't. However, you do get the energy savings out of them. So if you spend a little bit more than 99 cents, you'll get the bulbs that'll last that long. But that's number one. Uh, number two is a combination between what you can do yourself and what a professional can do. So your heating and cooling system is probably the biggest user of energy in your home. That is true. So you need to make sure that it gets professionally cleaned and inspected on an annual basis, okay? After that, you as the homeowner need to make sure that you're changing the filters out regularly. Because in a forced air system, you have a filter. If that filter's clogged, the system has to work so much harder and it literally is like sliding it out and sliding it back in. And you know, we all have smartphones, put it on your uh, calendar. So it really makes a difference. Oh my God, it makes a huge difference because that system's gotta work harder and harder to heat or cool. I love this. And it makes a huge difference. And it's something that I put, I know personally, on the bottom of my to-do list. <laughs> Not anymore, it's no. now number one. No, it Because I, I didn't know I could no, get a lower great. bill. And then finally, this is a little bit more involved. However, it is something you can do yourself. I get uh, questions all the time from people who say, what is the best way for me to be more comfortable and save the most money in my home? And I tell people it's by adding insulation to your attic. Just the attic. Just the attic. If that's what the money you can spend. And, and the reason I think that this is something you can do yourself, if you're comfortable crawling around up there, okay, most of the big home centers uh, have what's called a loose cellulose insulation. So it's basically a bag of loose stuff and they will lend you the machine to do it. Lend you. This is a two-person job. So you have these cubes outside that someone is shoving into this machine and you're up there with like a big fire hose. And just spraying it all over and the place. And you're spraying it all over that the place. That sounds like fun, Now actually. there's some ways to do it the right way and you oh. can find that information. So, I mean, it's a, not super technical, but you gotta make sure that the attic breathes and there's airflow up there. But if you add another six to eight inches of insulation to your attic space, you can expect to save up to 15% on your energy bill over an annual period of time. And your house might be warmer. It will be warmer and it'll be cooler in the summer and you will save money. You are a gem. Thanks so much for coming on the You're show welcome. today. <laughs> Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow and share Business First AM.